السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو آور یوٹیوب چینل جنید نوید اینڈ وی ول اسٹارٹ ٹو ڈے چیٹس یوزر انٹر فیس میڈول ون اینڈ ٹو ڈے از دی فسٹ لیکچر ان وچ وی ول بی ڈسکسنگ چیٹ مین ونڈو اینڈ آئی ول ڈسکس ان دس مین ونڈو ڈفرنٹ ٹول بارس سم بیسک ٹولس آف چیٹ سو لیٹس بگنس Today is our first lecture on module 1, chat user interface. So we will start from chat main window. Chat min main window will be look like this. And there are different components of the main window. As you can see that this is radiation anode, most recent used files. Pattern window, PDF recall box, editing cursor, scan and PDF overlay palette. Zoom and Pan toolbar, PDF overlay toolbar, of quick annotation toolbar, scan pattern overlay toolbar. I, I can show you this thing in the JED original video window. Uh, you can see that this is the JED interface. And here are different toolbars I have shown you in the PPT. If you try to minimize some toolbars, the JET will automatically produce some tool for you. So you can do your basic analysis on your pattern. It would be look like this. So let's explore the main window a little bit more. As we have seen that this is the pattern window and this blue one is the zoom window. And we can resize the window size according to your desire working space. This is the zoom and pan toolbar. And one thing I want to clear that JET software is basically sensitive to the right and left click. For example, if I will click right on this button, it will appear on my right side. And if I will click on the left button on this, if I will click on left button on this button again, it will appear on the left side. However, if you want to increase your working space and you don't want to see this portion, you can simply click here, it will be disappeared. And if you click back, it will appear again. You can uh, see the different peaks. For example, for example, you can see different peak here just by clicking the uh, left button and drag to the required portion and make the rubber band like this. So you can see that here is an other peak here. So you can analyze like this and you can go back by clicking this page, this button here. This is if you click on this here, it will show only those files which can be dragged into the main window. And I can just simply drag here and release it or I can also double click on that and it will show like this. And we can see our different patterns here. From here, we can choose our anode material. Let's go in more details of a zoom panel. You can drag the rubber band I have shown you before like this. You can see your desired area in the zoom panel. If I click back, it will be returned and the uh, zoom rubber band will disappear. Uh, and the and other way of doing this, we can just simply double click on any peak. So it can show you zoomed portion here. You can see that from here to here, it is here to here. This peak is this, this peak is this, and this one is this one. You can zoom, I, uh, you can also zoom by double clicking onto the any peak. Let me go back. You can also, for example, I take this portion and we can also drag by using left and right depending upon which click are you using. If you click left click, it will go right side or maybe the uh, blue window to the left side. And if you click the right click, the blue window will move into the uh, sorry right direction. Similarly, if you are clicking left, it will go down. If you are clicking right, it is going 
up so it is sensitive to your left or right click you can also uh, go left or right by scrolling your uh, mouse wheel either upward or downward if you scroll upward it will go left if you scroll downward it will it will go right you can also set your desired button by going into the edit and preference and you can say that for example if i click this uh, my first click direction will be reverse so you can reverse the direction according to your own desire here below you can see that it is the status bar and showing different file types and two theta values intensity d values two t values and different things are showing here so at the end i will give you some tips uh, you can drop out file written by the jet as i have shown you to the pattern window or zoom window you can change the font size according to your desire and you can resize the main window by pressing ctrl j you can print the active dialog window by pressing the ctrl shift p and you can display most pop up menus in jet by pressing the menu key for example ctrl j you can see we can manage size of this window by just using control j this lecture concludes here i hope you enjoyed this first lecture please subscribe our channel like the video and share it with your friends so allah hafiz until the next lecture